Okay, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. Today we have from XM Studios, this is The Punisher. So, myself being a massive Daredevil fan and also a massive Spider Man fan, you know, Frank Castle, The Punisher, fits nicely into both of those universes. So, naturally, I am a big Punisher fan as well. I've been waiting for a really great Punisher statue for a number of years. There's a few pretty good ones out there. Sideshow's put out, I think, three different Punishers to date. So there are some, but I've been waiting for something really special. I think I've got it here in this one from XM Studios. Uh, quickly, I'd like to thank Augustine for providing this amazing collectible. Also thank my two sons because I did not have a Punisher t-shirt for the review and they got me one for my birthday last week. So thank you to my boys, Parker and Griffin. And without further ado, let's get into the review. All right, we'll start off as we always do talking about the sculpt on this statue. And this statue was sculpted by Adam Ross and you've probably heard me mention his name before a few times. Uh, Cause he also did Ghost Rider for XM. He did Phoenix for XM, and he also did the original Deadpool for Sideshow, just to name a few of his works. So, very accomplished sculptor, and he did an amazing job on this statue. Uh, it, I mean, obviously you get this awesome motorcycle he's sitting on, and the Punisher with all his weapons, and it looks great. But it's really the small details on this statue that I think set it apart from others. Uh, you mean, start with the Punisher himself. You look at his face, there's all kinds of little scratches and scars all over his face uh, and make him look like he's really been in a lot of fights as he obviously has uh, you got you know look at the boots I love the boots because you know he's got the worn leather uh, showing the steel toe underneath because obviously kicking criminals in the face wears down the leather so that's very comic accurate of them to do that you know and, but all the stitching on the boots and the buckles and then you got all the buckles and straps and you know the thigh straps here holding the knife holster on and the knife is all detailed out nice leather finish on the pouches you got the Punisher logo on the two gun holsters so on this side and of course over here and then you got the handgun detailed in there you know so much to like about this and then even on the base you know you got these ex you know empty shell casings on the ground here Tons to love about this statue. I, I can't even get to all the details. I also love the clothes and how they wrinkle and, and sort of sit naturally and look like real clothes. Uh, just a really great job all around on this statue. Um, you know, if one thing uh, I could ask to be lit done a little bit better, maybe the uh, the control panel here on the gas top of the gas tank um, looks a little bit kind of barren. I think they maybe could have made that look a little bit more high tech because Punisher probably would have tricked out this bike uh, for himself. But you know, it still looks pretty good. You know, the the speedometer has you know all the little numbers you can read them on the speedometer is very very cool. Um, another thing that would is the uh, brake light here. I think you know the big block of red. I think that maybe they could have done something a little bit better there. Uh, maybe like a logo like lighting up or something the Punisher logo, but all, all in all there's really almost nothing to complain about sculpt wise he did an absolutely phenomenal job Okay, let's move on to paint and again, I think XM did a really nice clean paint job for this statue I think you're gonna be very impressed with it uh, nice metallic finish on the ammo box here uh, worn metal metallic finish on the two wheel covers fr front and rear uh, lots of dents and scratches all over on the gas tank uh, to make it look like this has been through a war and you know nice metallic finish all over the bike the engine parts and everything you know Frank's clothes as well you know it's not just a black finish to it there's some browns mixed in there to give it some nice uh, highlighting and shading uh, so that looks really good when you take a close look at it. Very subtle bruising effect given to his face, um, which is very cool. A little bit of blood staining on the bandage over his nose. A little bit of blood staining on the, the skull logo on his shirt. So lots of subtle details to the paint. You know, you got the veining in the arms. It looks very, 
you know, the, the bluish effect there, so very nice, uh, nicely done. You know, overall, just a real nice quality paint job again from XM Studios. I'm very happy with it. Uh, you know, the boots have a nice sort of glossier finish compared to the pants, so they stand out. Uh, again, you know, nothing to complain about in the paint department. I think XM did a really nice job producing the paint on this Punisher statue, so you'll be happy with it. Alright, so let's get into the design of this piece. Now, obviously, Punisher sitting on a motorbike. Uh, it turned out very, very cool, but initially, when they released their concept sketches from Studio Hive, I mean, the sketch was really nice, but it was Punisher on a motorbike. People were like, well, you know, that's not a real iconic pose for the Punisher. But, um, you know, he's been shown on motorcycles before several times, so it wasn't that far of a reach but it wasn't uh, what people you know first picture when they think of Punisher uh, but anyways uh, they moved ahead with it they had their vision and I think uh, good on them for doing it because it really turned out great as you can see um, you know it's a very unique Punisher uh, that's never been done really quite like this before uh, you know I think the, the bike the style of the bike is kind of a, an old-school Harley type of look to it uh, really suits the Punisher, you know, he wouldn't have, um, you know, like a crotch rocket or anything like that. So this is very suitable for uh, for the Punisher. I, I think the design overall, I mean, they, they really went all out on this one. Uh, they put a lot of thought into it, and it really turned out great. I, I'm really happy that they stuck to their guns, uh, no pun intended, uh, with this Punisher statue. So, great job, XM. Okay, production and build quality. Um, obviously, this is kind of a complex looking statue. It does take some time to assemble, but XM has given us this assembly guide. Uh, it's got step-by-step -step procedure on how to assemble your piece, so pay attention to that as you're setting it up. Um, I will point out there is sort of a long uh, silver bolt with a nut and that connects the front end to the main body and it goes right here right through this shaft and then that goes on the bottom uh, and there's also six little gold screws you only need three of them uh, so put the other three in the box and it connects the leather strap to the ammo box you just put the screws in the back uh, so some tools required for assembly but nothing too uh, significant you should have them available in your house I would assume um, the statue, you know, it, it goes together quite nicely. Uh, the arms fit on with a magnet. Uh, I will point out the right arm, because you have to feed the handlebar through his, his fingers, uh, it takes a little bit of extra care to get that on there, so just be careful. Uh, putting that right arm on, you know, the heads come off with a magnet. And there is an alternate portrait here, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Uh, so that just fits in with a magnet, nice secure uh, feel there. And Punisher fits onto the bike with a magnet as well. There's a magnet in the seat and obviously on his butt. So he and he fits on fairly secure. It, the whole thing, once it's all together, um, feels very solid and secure. I don't think uh, you have to worry too much about tipping or leaning. So good quality uh, piece in that regard. Uh, I'm going to run through some of the things that they added to the statue during production that are really nice details. Uh, I'll start off with the chain. Uh, this is a real metal chain that they've added on the back wheel here. Very, very cool looking in person. Uh, the gun, you got sort of a mixed media strap there uh, that fits over his shoulder. It is a very tight fit, so just be careful when you're sliding that over. It does fit nicely, but you want to be make sure you don't uh, break off the little handles or, or, or clasps that hold that strap onto the gun. So be careful with that. The stand for the gun is a separate piece. I just slide it onto the lower barrel there. I have seen people say that the tip of the gun comes off and you can put the stand on to the upper barrel. I cannot for the life of me get this thing off, so I'm not trying any harder with that. I am happy to keep it on the lower barrel, but you can give it a try on your own if you have this statue. Um, 
I'll talk about the you know the the potholes added to the base with where the bullet casings are. They've put this sort of clear resin there uh, to make give this water effect. It looks really really cool in person. So that was a really nice touch. Um, just really really great details all around on this statue. Um, you know the machine gun. You know if you're a gun enthusiast or like in the military or something, you'll probably notice right away the bullets on the right side of the gun um, I've read that the bullets should feed left to right so it should be on the other side of the gun every picture on Google that I could find yes they do go in the left I'm not a gun guy so it doesn't bother me that much but I could see how it would bug someone who uh, has used one of these guns in the past so uh, but you know for me it doesn't really bug me that much uh, you know, otherwise, you know, production-wise, this statue is pretty amazing. Uh, I will talk about this alternate portrait. Um, I don't mind this. I kind of like the style of it. The problem I have with it is, you know, his head sort of looking off to the side, and but his eyes are looking kind of down towards the the ground. So it's kind of two separate directions. It looks kind of awkward. Uh, when it's on there. So I, I wish his eyes were looking the same direction as his head. If they were, I might actually consider using it, but I will probably stick with the Ariel Olivetti styled you know, juice monkey head uh, for, for my display because I think it suits the, the statue overall a bit better. Um, obviously you get the print in the box over there. I really like that print from Studio Hive. I like what they did with the headlight. Uh, very cool print again from them um, again overall production quality on this statue is top-notch I will point out one small uh, I don't know if you want to call it a mistake but uh, it was pointed out by Lorik Stone on statue forum and it's actually the gun and his arm are cast as one piece so they actually if you look into his elbow there or right up the back here you can see that his arm is actually joined to the gun and it doesn't look great but you're not gonna see it from most angles you display uh, I mean I wouldn't have never have noticed it if he hadn't brought it up so thank you Lorik Stone for pointing that out to me I needed to know um, anyways other than that the statue looks fantastic it's a really top-notch production from again from XM Studios Okay, let's wrap this review up. Punisher from XM Studios. Um, I think it's the most unique Punisher available on the market. I think they did an absolutely outstanding job with it. It's going to stand out in your collection if you're lucky to, enough to have one. Uh, just a fantastic statue. You get the two portraits uh, so you can switch up the style if you like. You know, all the weapons, the motorcycle, um, just the way everything goes together. Uh, you know it's got good weight to it again really just a fantastic statue I, I don't know what else I can say about it uh, it's just really really turned out um, amazing so great job from XM Studios um, thanks everyone for watching uh, I will have like as I always say more reviews later this year uh, it's gonna be lots of good stuff coming up so uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>